registrations will be down. I don't think we'll reach the levels of this year and the highs of the last few years. There will be more pressure on manufacturers uh, with the currency exchange rates or fluctuations. There's a little bit of caution coming into the marketplace. I don't think it's going to be as, um, the volume numbers aren't going to be as high as they were in 2017. I can see the uncertainty with Brexit, uncertainty with um, purchasing new product. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of banks who are going to be a bit hesitant regarding interest rates. Companies might not be borrowing as much. Well, on the light commercial vehicle market, we're probably going to see an influx of more stock. More stock always brings you, uh, obviously, volume, and volume obviously brings uh, the softening of prices. There are greater volumes coming back to the used market now. So again, where it's supply and demand driven, we expect values to come back as well on all but the very best stock. The numbers coming into the auction halls will probably increase. I think values will probably start taking a dip, but it's more going to be on the base stuff in white. The base fans are going to be the ones that are going to be um, hit harder with um, prices softening. Anything in colour with air conditioning and the high spec variants, the used market buyers will still want, be wanting to go, similar to what we've seen in 2017. That gap between um, base stuff and high spec stuff has the gap in 2017 got really big. I can see 2018, that gap either staying the same or maybe coming down slightly. It all depends on the volume coming back with the, with the amount of used stock coming back. The market's getting squeezed, the margin's getting squeezed, the whole business is under pressure because everybody's trying to take that little bit of extra profit. Euro 5 and Euro 6, there's a bit of uncertainty with Euro 6 use values because of the um, additional cost of AdBlue in Euro 5. So I think we're going to see um, people, used buyers especially, um, going for more Euro 5 engines which doesn't need AdBlue, rather than go for the Euro 6 and have that additional maintenance charge and maintenance cost and another um, thing to keep on top of regarding their maintenance. So I think Euro 5 values may take a, may, may um, have a bit of a spike and or there might be more people wanting Euro 5 product as opposed to the first generation of Euro 6 when they come into the used market. Alternative fuels is quite a complicated thing. Um, it's easy on cars, on LCVs or light commercial vehicles, vans, etc. Um, if the government gets the 4.25 tonne gross vehicle weight limit lifted on alternative fuels, it's quite a complex thing then more and more people will consider it because obviously electric vehicles are heavier than uh, combustion engine vehicles, uh, but there is the alternative of, of gas, which we don't have on cars as, as such. Um, so that, 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 kind of, that market will grow a little bit. Um, I think it'll only grow in the, with the companies that want to be seen to be green. 98% um, of vehicles or LCVs sold in the UK last year were diesels. So to convert those people, that to convert more than that two percent to an alternative fuel is going to be a challenge.